one is going to be very, very interesting. Um, I uploaded a video recently and it was about Mr. Percival Latouche. That is the president of Returning Residents Association in Jamaica. Someone had an interaction with him and wanted it to be put out there about the ordeal the ordeal they went through with him basically and it's alleged I mean who's that cause them think we are amateurs when we're doing this it's alleged that he scammed the person and didn't come through with what he was supposed to so i uploaded my video and if you guys know how i do those videos and do them in particular i always put three disclaimers in those types of videos that i do especially when people send me information i always make sure i cover myself cross my t's and dot my eyes i guess i must have stepped on mr percival's toes a little bit or he feels like i threw him under the bus or i put his business out there but note that people approached me about the situation and with my platform it's my duty to put their information especially when they can give me proof and correspondence between both parties involved and proof about what they're saying that is exactly why i created my platform so people that don't have a voice or feel like they're being silenced because of people like mr percival that are higher up in society have them links and they feel like they have been mistreated or they feel like something did not go their way they can voice their opinion and voice them freely let's say this and let's get this clear youtube is a business and when i address certain situations i address it very maturely and i address it with professionalism and that is why i put my three disclaimers in my videos because mr percival is not the first person to try this with me and i'm certain he is not going to be the last because when you put certain things out there you're going to be stepping on people's toes and once people to start get cr get crushed and step on and then feel like they're going to be losing money or their image is being tarnished or that no look good for them they're going to come after you and that is why i do what i do on uh, June 14th, 2019, I received an email on in my brain and meat at gmail.com. And I'm gonna read the email for you guys to hear and also read another one of my emails that came in about him also. I received this email and basically what Mr. Latouche is doing is threatening me 
with a lawsuit. So, let's get into this email. We written on behalf of Percival Latouche, President of the Association for Resettlement of Returning Residents. On the 11th of June, you posted on the internet a feature in which you read a letter which you said that you have received from an anonymous person. And yes, I did. While reading the letter, you paused and added various comments of your own. The letter made false allegations against our clients and your comments stirred up allegations with further lies. So that our client was not only defamed and his reputation was placed in physical danger. You then published online comments which were not only insulting but threatening in threatening his life. Um, Mr. Latouche, let, let's just address this. Last year when you told Jamaicans abroad that they should not return home to Jamaica. Didn't you get threatening comments? Anyways, let's continue. The context of your video was following transaction which we describe in full so that your viewers may know the truth, okay? He's trying to tell his side. He didn't approach the situation as trying to tell his side but he also tried to threaten me with a lawsuit also in the process anyways let's continue our client acting on behalf of the ARRR was approached by a lady whose mother had bought a plot of land in the parish of St. Thomas from the Rural Agricultural Development Authority in 2003 the mother had left four children but no title to the land existent. Our client quoted a fee of euros $550 and asked for a first payment of 250 euros. The first payment was received on the 16th of May 2019 as being part payment for investigatory work done to secure splinter title for the balance of 300 euros to be paid on the conclusion of the transaction. Mr. Latouche has considerably experience in dealing with public authorities on behalf of people resettling in Jamaica. The nature of Jamaican bureaucracy means that this is often a long and tedious business, but with persistence, our clients have achieved much success given the time and work involved for the ARRR, a charge, a fee, and the amount quoted in this case was entirely reasonable. The initial discussion had been over the telephone. Mr. Latou said that the investigation into the lady's problem would take four to six weeks. He did not say that the title would be obtained in four weeks, nor could he have done. Anyone with knowledge of the transactions in Jamaica could tell you that this would be unreal prediction. However, when the lady mentioned four week period for the process in an email sent on the 8th of May and to make sure that the lady had not misunderstood the verbal conversation, sent an email on the 16th of May in which he advised that the four to six week referred to the length of his investigation and not the time when the title would be ready. This was the action of a careful and honest person. Mr. Latouche got to work on the lady case. He visited or checked the National Land Agency, the Parish Council and Title Office. He reported to the lady on what he had done in an email of the 16th. However, the lady was not satisfied and asked for the return of her money, less the charge for the work done. Mr. Latouche charged euros $130 
for the work done and we paid the equivalent of 120 euros to the lady's account. It follows the amount of zeros seriously false statement have been made in the statement made by you on YouTube nobody was returned he literally just scammed this person out of thousands of dollars he promised to get the title within four weeks the man was paid in full these allegations were repeated by you in a similar words on several occasions and commented wow I didn't know I couldn't say wow on my platform I didn't know that wow was defaming somebody but thank you very much for that and now i know to make matters worse you said mr latouche that everyone who spoke to him died and people were alleging that the returning residents that actually spoke to mr latouche also come up dead this is not only disgraceful defamation but it takes mr latouche in physical danger and if you watch my video carefully, that was what the person who sent me the email sent. The person said that people that spoke to Mr. Latouche about land or whatever the case may be allegedly come up missing or dead after she had done inquiries about Mr. Latouche in St. Thomas and she also alleged that Mr. Latouche didn't have good standing with people in that parish. I digress. But since you guys don't know how to comprehend comprehensively, logically, let's continue. which have been published online show that people have been stirred up by your lying video to utter false allegation of fraud and to threaten Mr. Latouche. It is a common con man and must go to prison for fraud or someone must kill him for the money. Our client have been the president of the AAR for 36 years and enjoys a high reputation as a man who fights for the rights of returning residents. It is clear that your video which remains accessible will lower the reputation in the more it's been seen and a full apology and retraction is called for for call for from you. Your video has distrust and scared him grievously. <laughs> we ask that the following steps be taken without delay. A full apology is to be made by Miss to you. A full apology is to made to Mr. Latouche on your next five videos, brains and the beat in terms to be approved by us to be made by you in writing. The f the defamatory video and comments be immediately withdrawn from the internet and you agree to pay a sum to negotiate to our client by the way of compensation and legal cost <laughs> and this is from um i want to make sure i get it right so gifford thompson and shields okay this is from their attorney, Lord Anthony Gifford, and this is in the UK. So I don't know how the UK have juris jurisdiction over what happens in Jamaica, but I also know that the Supreme Court is located in the UK, but I digress. So let me tell you guys what I replied. And it says, no apology will be made and I will not remove my video. If you watch my video properly, you will see three disclaimers in three sections of my video. Front, middle, and last. I'm protected by law. We are no amateurs to this. I have my first amendment right to speak my mind on my platform. Mr. Percival wouldn't be the first and last to try this. This is not Jamaica. No one can scare me into silence or threaten me with a lawsuit. Just like Mr. Percival, 
I have an attorney and my anonymous source have no problem coming front and center when this goes to court with all the correspondence between her and Mr. President of the Returning Residents Association, especially since she is worried her life is in danger. Please let Mr. Percival know that she has also reported him to the fraud squad in Jamaica with all related materials and correspondence. I'm glad it got his attention. He can stop scamming people now. And then I said, lastly, sick of all the corruption from large to small. Okay, that was my reply. Now I've gotten an email since. These people feel like they can scare people into silence or threaten them with a lawsuit and then they're going to quiver. Okay, quiver and go into hiding because you sent me some letter from some so-called person that's a lawyer just like how you can afford attorney the same way i can and just like how your reputation is on the line is the same way my reputation is on the line when i upload anything on my channel that's why i put three disclaimers in my video because of my reputation that I'm trying to uphold and when things like this happen it shows you how deep and how far the corruption goes in Jamaica from the littlest of fish to the largest of shark they're all about money and reputation and them looking good in the public's eyes my i told zero lies in my video and i made sure i put three disclaimers in my video to make sure i am legally protected because i'm not an amateur and i actually had to re-edit that video to make sure i put my disclaimers in there anyways since i put up that video on youtube email comment section has been flooded with other people that have said he has done the same if not worse to them and i have one right here and all throughout this video there are going to be disclaimers left right and center okay but this is another email that i thought was interesting to divulge to my audience because this what is the man, this is the man that told people not to come back to Jamaica yeah this is the same man yeah this, you know what this could look like you know what this could look like he has vested interest in telling people don't come back to Jamaica mm -hmm. so when people run away and leave them yeah. or get scared or come intimidated and then he's he has the resources to scare them. Mm -hmm. Send two mad boy go over there, go run them off, scare them. They're already in fear. Mm -hmm. He already told them, look at his position, look at who he is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's my husband talking for everybody that's new here, that's SoFlo TV, in the background talking and yes. giving you guys his opinions. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And yeah. That's what it could look like. Mm -hmm. um, this is and that was what i was getting to because this is another That's email what people were saying when he said that bill yeah people were saying it from back then mm -hmm. people were saying from back then that him he, being in the position he is and doing that they had already heard things about him and i bet said he's a part of yeah. The land stealing that's going on down there, mm -hmm. property stealing and stuff. If you guys don't know, we talked about this when we went to Jamaica that a lot of people are going to Jamaica, grabbing land and paying for that land and within like a few years they get the title to the land. And people that live overseas that actually own that land that have been passed down from generations unto generations mm -hmm. don't know 
that this is what's happening and they end up losing their whole entire property okay so i want to read another email that someone sent me because this goes deep and when i say it goes deep it goes really really deep it says first don't mention my name the person wants to be anonymous i'm seeking my attorney's help to get back my money as well guess what i have copies of the western union receipts and email i was warned but got drawn out by his charisma he seemed trustworthy i also asked him to intervene with someone regarding a property in jamaica and when them say one time when something happened second time i walk okay i sent him my document it's now a year nothing has been done on a visit to his office he keeps boasting he has appointment with the p n p president tell that woman to put the land or house in a trust it's called an irre irrevocable trust but only place an affidavit of trust on the title so nobody can change the title she can do it herself or ask a legal aid attorney for help i did my trust so he's saying that the lady that contacted me previously about mr percival is this is what she should do because this is what he had to end up doing the best real estate attorney in kingston is miss gloria brown her office is in halfway tree and this is also good for other jamaicans that are seeking legal help to secure their land to secure their property in jamaica so thank you very much for that allegations by streetman are and this is all alleged information insert disclaimer here anyways it is alleged that he charged for a membership id us 150 dollars what happened to the old lady in portmore who used to work in st martin what happened to her house and her bank account <laughs> what happened to the house next door to him who now own it where are the owners where are they <laughs> what happened to the police inspector who used to shake down arriving passengers at norman manley inter international airport who was the judge to oversee that case? I want the CITOC to inv investigate this case. If I can't get my money back, then I have to contact them. Too much scammers in Jamaica. And that right there is where I end my video comment what your thoughts are in the comment section below i missed the first of all you have gotten death threats online from last year when you told other jamaicans not to return home so my little comment section of people voicing their opinion Absolutely. about something that they've been saying shouldn't be anything new to you at all whatsoever they've been saying that for almost a year now so i digress comment what your thoughts are in the comment section like share subscribe tell the friend tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend especially if you own property in jamaica you have been warned and stay clear for from that attorney that's in the uk because him to something else allegedly like comment share i'm a part of here man doses
had a pretty spark. 